uh, Graham Williams comes into view. That's Mitchell. And Michael trying to haul Colin Meads out of it. Hasty in there as well, and that's no place for a man. In goes Meads trying to loosen the ball with his foot, and the crowd didn't like that one. And this is going to be very interesting because I have a feeling that Colin Meads may have been ordered off the field. Well, that was a feeling that became a reality for you, wasn't it, Colin? What were your feelings yourself at that moment? Well, my feelings were... It was tragic for... Not so much in, for myself, personally, but it was tragic for New Zealand. And yeah. um, That's a feeling, I think, that was, was shared by a lot of people back here. I think that there was a feeling of absolute disbelief in New Zealand. First of all, that an all-black could be sent off, but then sending Colin Meads off, goodness gracious me, it was front page news across New Zealand. The second All Black uh, to be sent off during a rugby test and for an offence that every Kiwi felt in their heart that you could simply not be guilty of. And so in the pubs and the clubs and the lounges of the country, the villain of the piece became of course the referee, an Irishman by the name of Callagher. And the local papers made sure it was a name that we wouldn't forget. I mean to be a Callagher in New Zealand that month was a risk not worth taking. It's taken me 21 years to have the courage to come to New Zealand, and I've got that courage by having a minder call McBride with me. <laughs> That's the voice of the man who sent you from the field in Scotland that day. From Dublin, in Ireland, here for you tonight. Please welcome referee Kevin Callagher. So you finally reckon it's safe, do you? <laughs> yeah, after 21 years, yes. Yeah. Boy, have we got a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, it was a, that was, a, of course, an incredible event. It galvanised the country together. That was 21 years ago now, though, and I, I guess that you've had a lot of time to think about it and uh, go over those, those few moments time and time again. I want to ask you now, You've changed your mind, haven't you? Oh, wait, does anybody think I was wrong? <laughs> <laughs> so you're unrepentant? Though. Unrepentant. You must have got a lot of interesting reaction from other, other Kiwis. Uh, uh, remind Colin about we, that. We got, I got many, many letters. I got about, I suppose, about 30 from New Zealand. Uh, not many, in fact, not any of them. Complimentary, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> That's surprising, isn't it? And, uh, <laughs> what do you think about him as a player, might I ask? Well, uh, Everywhere I went in rugby circles, he's regarded as a legend. Uh, and uh, we have an expression in Ireland about somebody uh, says, there, his likes will never be again. Well, that, that are fine words. I thank you for that. However, there is something I would like to do. I want to set the record straight tonight once and for all. I actually have the whistle <coughs> that you blew uh, that day on Murrayfield. And I think it's only fair and right that this time, Colin gets the chance to blow the whistle on you and send you off. <laughs> 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 